Welcome to the place where the Holy Spirit is absolutely dominant. Experience transformation, edification, and miracle. This is Refresh Daily. Can I tell you this? Hear me. I made a vow and a covenant with God. I said, Lord, whatever it is that comes from my bloodline and my family, I obtain grace, even if it's for me to be the sacrifice, that I will fight it with my life, taking advantage of the victory that is in Christ, so that everyone that comes from me will enjoy that liberty. Someone may need to make that commitment and say, Lord, my sincere parents, my loved ones may have failed because they did not have knowledge. But will you use me as that priest? Let me be that mediator between the old and the new. Someone rise up in one minute and begin to pray from the depth of your heart. Someone pray. Please pray, please pray. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till there's so few. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your name. hear me i have prayed for a family where all of them mysteriously hiv just manifested in their lives like that like from father to children there was no history of that demonic thing but everybody like that i know people who are healthy and sound and fine about to get married they went to do blood tests and they suddenly found out that one person is hiv and the person said i can't there is no way this would have come medically certified when everything scatters they go back and check and you find out they are perfectly sound i like you to pray and say in the name of jesus christ say it say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority i am a spirit with a mortal body i am a spirit that submits to the authority of jesus open your mouth and begin to declare i have dominion in the name of jesus over the realm of the air the realm of the sea someone is praying shabagata barata kate balaka to shoprondos ekrete ke barato soto brenda kate balaka dia shakata praska de balaka ta Pray, something is happening. Pray, something is happening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I take my rightful place. On earth, on earth as God's steward and, and I declare Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit I am in partnership with you every good thing that must manifest 
from heaven to my life I declare let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray I take my place I take my place every good and perfect gift assigned by God to find expression in my life in this season I declare I take my rightful place as God's steward on earth. Shabagada bagada bakata brande gade balatosia. Ebrakatosh kodo brande gade balekata. Shabrande gade baruskiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus Every system of authorization Working against my life My family My destiny By the blood of the eternal covenant Be silenced now Open your mouth and pray Be silenced Be silenced Be silenced Shekete pakata balakatosh Embrekete kata paros kotoba Be silenced In the name of Jesus Systems of authorization Fighting your influence Fighting your destiny Hallelujah Hallelujah Now hear me this prayer you are about to pray many miracles are going to come out of it say in the name of jesus i declare that this body is the temple of the holy spirit therefore every sickness and infirmity in this body programmed to waste my life i command depart now Open your mouth and pray. Depart fibroids. Depart high blood pressure. Depart cancer. Depart someone pray. Tumors. Growths. Depart. Belakatosh Kadila Pariata. Blood conditions. Depart. Shagada bagada bagados kate, embre teke baruso segete balatos. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare from today that I have a covenant of longevity. My body will never separate from my spirit until my time is done every premature separation either by accidents by sickness by the activity of wicked people i cause it right now go ahead and pray no premature separation coming in the form of accidents Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Please don't be distracted. Jeremiah 22, 29. Please give it to us quickly. Jeremiah 22, verse 29. It says, O earth, 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 hear ye. O earth, earth, earth. It says, hear ye the word of the Lord. The earth is a universal point of contact. 
the bible says as for the earth out of it comes bread it says the profit of the earth is for all and even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth i'd like you to pray say in the name of jesus my portion given to me by god i decree and declare through the ministry of men let it gravitate towards my destiny open your mouth and pray god is a god of portions God is a God of portions. Pray. God is a God of portions. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Every negative inheritance that has been transferred to me by those who were before me, I decree and declare by the blood of the Lamb, I reject it right now. I reject it. Go ahead and pray. Every negative inheritance, inheritance, that has come as untimely death negative things closed doors i reject it someone pray i reject it i reject it i reject it in the name of jesus i reject it Shabagada Barakos, Abrakatos Kadeva Lakatesh. hallelujah listen the implication of having dominion over the realm of the air the realm of water the realm of earth is that no element that comes from these sources should work against you are you getting what i'm saying now judges i, I, I was quickly trying to look for the scripture Judges chapter 5. I hope I get it right. Let's look at 19 and 20. This was Deborah and Sisera. Judges 5. The kings came and fought. I hope I got. Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. And they took no gain of money. Verse 20. Yes. It says they fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. Can I tell you, the elements of nature can hearken to the voice of those who know their God and can stand in partnership. Hold on. That means if someone goes to use the earth against me or pronunciations that go through the wind or water, provided is one of these elements. Did the Bible not say the sun shall not smite you by day? nor the moon by night say in the name of jesus i speak to the elements of creation hear the word of the lord walk in partnership with the holy spirit 
and the word of God for my favor, for my destiny, not against me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The elements of the supernatural. I decree and declare the sun shall not smite me by day. The moon shall not smite me by night. The scourging tongues of men shall not catch up with me. I have dominion over the air, dominion over the sea, dominion over the earth. Pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be tired. Genesis 1 from verse 20. I want to show you something about the mystery of this water you see. Are you ready? And God said, Let the waters do what? Bring forth abundantly. So water is connected to abundance. And water in scripture means men too are we together it is not just about physical water water is also prophetic and symbolic of men it says let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life the fowl that it may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven 21 let's read together one to read and god created the great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly. Hold on. We are going to declare the prayer of abundance. Waters here does not mean going to do enchantment with water. Water here means men. Are we together? Water. Prophetic. That means everybody's abundance is in the hands of men. And the Bible says God can issue a command And those men can release it abundantly Say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare The abundance Assigned For my life For my assignment Through the ministry of men I declare let it be released unto me Go ahead and pray Let the waters Bring forth abundantly Someone pray, someone pray. Let the waters bring forth abundantly. Shabragadeba lagata proskodoba lando shaliatas. Hallelujah. Psalm 79 verse 11. 
Psalm 79 verse 11. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die. Death is an appointment. I can reject an appointment that you give me. We can fix an appointment for 12 and I can choose to reject it. Is that true? Please look up. For there to be an appointment, it means there must be some sort of consent, even if not mutual. There has to be an awareness. Okay, you go to apply for a visa, you expect an appointment. There is an understanding between you and the, the, the consular officers that there is an appointment. So when the Bible talks about an appointment, it means someone represented you for that appointment to be fixed, even if you are not there. Like a man can go to get an appointment for all his children and they just know that your appointment is on the 25th. So when the Bible says there are people appointed to die, it may be that they through ignorance have signed in for that appointment or someone before them already made the appointment in the name of Jesus Christ. Every appointment, whether by covenant, whether by ignorance or by disobedience with the spirit of death, I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant help them please let it be cancelled now open your mouth and pray by the greatness of your power preserve those who have been appointed to die someone pray by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah in the name of jesus we have one last prayer please look up and this prophetic prayer is dedicated to nigeria listen carefully you see this onslaught of terrorism and the rest go and read the book of esther you will find out that haman and the plotters of evil they consulted by divination and they were given a date when they will attack I can tell you this for sure. No terrorist attacks at will. No. They consult with the constellations. And they make incantations until the heaven gives them a go. That's why it looks like it is effortless, regardless army, regardless whatever. I say it with all due respect to all the forces who are doing their best. But there has to be a spiritual advantage. Can I tell you the truth? If you approach spiritual things just with your head knowledge or with strength, you will be a victim of several casualties. It is not like Satan and terrorists are so powerful. Their advantage is not in their physical armory, I tell you this. Their advantage is that they have mastered through divination the art of manipulating the realm of the spirit. And it is good for us to pray. But for God's sake, prayer in ignorance is the same thing as not praying. Hallelujah. So they set a date. And even though her man was dead, the decree of the date for destruction still continued. It took another decree to change it. The Bible says where the word of a king is, he says there is power he said declare ye that thou mightest be justified if you refuse to plant in a farm something will still grow the name is weed in elementary science or agriculture they define wheat as weed as unwanted are we together unwanted plants while men slept hear me we are going to make decrees every element of the supernatural that has been manipulated to work supporting evil 
and death and bloodshed in this nation, in this city and around. Please don't say it does not concern you. Don't make the mistake of Esther. When her man was plotting evil, Esther was enjoying the delicacy of the palace and Mordecai sent a warning. He said, do not think if you are silent that when they are done with us, you will be spared. For you do not know whether it is for such a time as this. Everyone who has been kidnapped, even those killed, they were sincere people who got up in the morning just like you. Don't forget that you have not, you have not stopped moving. You too move out in the morning and in the night. So don't say it does not matter. Shout this from the depth of your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. I take my place as one who has authority and I decree and declare the spirit of bloodshed the spirit of terrorism the spirit of oppression around our land the spiritual power that supports you we break it right now go ahead and pray the covenants that support you be broken the altars that support you be broken the enchantments that support you be broken the priesthood that supports you be broken we prophesy to the north we prophesy to the south we prophesy to the east we prophesy to the west in the name of jesus we declare the ministry of angels may they excel in strength by the word of the lord we declare this by the decree of the watchers in the name of jesus christ there is no rest and no peace for evil hallelujah hallelujah let me just add this one last one you are going to declare prophetically safety and preservation over everyone who is connected to you listen listen you have to reject bad news between now and december you, you, your your destiny is not ready for some kind of news that would depress you and waste your time it is within your power yours is to stand in your position with your delegated authority and with understanding and to make decrees are we together you are going to mention the name of everyone including yourself and declare the bible says the name of the lord is not only a weapon of victory it is a strong tower the righteous can enter and they are saved begin to mention the name of your loved ones your spouse your children your parents lord we declare covering prophetic covering they are exempted from the arrows that fly by day exempted from the noisome pestilence the destruction that wastes in noonday a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you with your eyes will you see and the reward of the wicked hallelujah let me make one decree over your life and we're done revelations 3 and verse 8 revelations 3 and verse 8 let's start from 7 and 8 revelations 3 to the angel of the church in philadelphia write these things saith he that is holy he that is true and had the key of david he that openeth 
and no man. Did you see that? So who are those that shot? Who are those that shot? And who are those that open? He had the key of David. He opened it. That means if you don't have the key of David, you can open a door that a man can shut. You can shut a door that the man can open. But it says he that had the key of David. And by the mystery of the key of David, that a door can be opened that no man can shut. And shut and no man can open. Verse 8. He says, I know thy works. Behold, I who has the key of David, I have opened before thee. He says, I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it. Because I acknowledge that you have little strength. Yet with your little strength, you have kept my word and you have not denied my name. I stand in partnership with the Holy Spirit. And according to Revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8, I decree and declare upon you that door that has been set may it be open and remain open doors of favor be open and remain open doors of lifting be open and remain open doors of restoration be open and remain open doors of opportunity be open and remain open doors of speed be open and remain open hear me i release this prophetic word let it follow you like your shadow that any human vessel in partnership with any spirit that wants to shut this door may this prophetic word judge them i say it again any human being that wants to shut the door that the holder of the key of david has opened Makesh may this prophetic word judge them some of you by reason of these open doors things that have been hanging that you have just been seeing but will never come to your hand in the name of Jesus, let it enter your hand finally. Mercy is a weapon, and you are about to use it now. Ha! And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord, and the accuser came before him, attempting to rail accusations, and he said, Is this not a reed? that I have taken out of fire and he said the Lord rebuke you listen the mercy of God is a weapon you can use it and say Satan I know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this I present to you the mercy of God I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the Father standing and speaking i present to you the sinless blood i present to you calvary lift your voice invoke mercy invoke mercy repeat your voice every voice the voice of mercy kapana the voice of mercy shake it let us Hallelujah. Hear me. Tonight you're going to use it as a weapon over the devourer. I know I've not been a tighter. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. 
when I see the blood, you should be destroyed, but the blood will speak. Hear me? You live the wayward life, and all kinds of things happen, and the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood, when I see the blood, you were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance. But now that you are in Christ, when I see the blood, lift up your voice and plead the blood. Hey! In for mercy. Come on now. In for mercy. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given. But tonight, plead the blood. It can blot it out. Come on now. It can blot it out. Blot it out. Was it pray? Hear me. A cause causeless shall not stand. A cause causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effect must leave me too. Open your mouth and declare every pattern. You have been blotted. You need my life. Patterns of barrenness. Patterns of failure. Come on now, Koinonia, are you praying? find out that no longer will there be an accusation 
to say oh you once in, were in the world you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking and that's why your life is not moving it should not move but now that you have invoked mercy it makes the cause causeless that means it should not come again are we together you stole money help them please and all of that you destroyed another person's destiny but now that you are in Christ what of the blood he showed me Joshua the high priest please take seriously this is what I did for my own life oh let me tell you for we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom I want to pray for you but we're going to pray one more prayer point hear me the Bible says the scripture we started in give us that scripture again Lamentations 5 verse 7 please quickly we want to pray and then we'll round up Lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 our fathers have seen and are not and we have borne their iniquities but now if I appropriate the revelation that I've been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation I can't go to hell because I, I was born in Kogi or I was born in Plateau State I did ask them to do witchcraft and now that they have done it if the land is cursed, I exempt myself I can't be a victim of another man's wickedness listen I'd like you to pray with all your heart and say I begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past alienated from witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal why not are you praying alienated every biological deformity every genetic deformity pray every yoke that made you SS that made you AS that gave you hepatitis it must go tonight the spirit of the Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you if God be God, everything that you're carrying, I don't care whether it's self inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ his advocacy at the throne of the father does not happen automatically it happens in response to an incense sent from the earth the same way his high priest, priestly ministry the bible says is in the order of melchizedek melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with abraham and he gave him a tenth of all i want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft Colonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing yes I stretch my hands right now hear me I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos kupadabash. Lekreteke toko soto balakata. Shebreketeke kosuta bariyatakata. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. 
inside outside I stretch my hands be free right now be free right now in the name of Jesus be free right now from activities of witchcraft hallelujah demonic activities strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you men women animals and all kinds of things coming to destroy you plant rubbish in your body i pray right now in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams caused as a result of ancestry right now in the name of jesus i command freedom i command liberty i command freedom i command liberty the blood speaks right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ he said the earth is caused for your sake it says with the sweat of your brows shall you eat but the bible says in galatians chapter 3 verse 29 it says and if ye be christ's then are ye abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise i want to speak and set you free there is a cause of hardship many people are victims of this cause hardship has nothing to do with poverty listen carefully many people here you are standing representing your families as i pray and right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the son of the living god i stretch my hands right now i command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder help them please. be taken from off your shoulders be taken from off your shoulders right now in the name of jesus i command that cause of hardship be taken from off your shoulders in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ hear me i declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life step into it right now in the name of jesus christ every yoke of disfavor bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you walks against you I command that fail be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ and Cain said my punishment is too great he said i have become a fugitive and a vagabond he said all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me whether they are strangers something upon me makes all who see me to slay me any mark secreto shalakras katabadiyasha lebren tekes kotabras kataniya any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativism right now in the name of jesus that might be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes ss jacatosia as there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of jesus every blood related issue passed to you by covenant i blot it out of your body right now 
I blot it out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The classic sign of curses and yokes is the presence of patterns. You usually are not the first to experience that. But I want to prophesy right now. I don't know what patterns you have seen around your life. You have seen around your finances. You have seen around your work with God. You are up today, down tomorrow. You are serious today, on serious tomorrow. You love the Lord today. You love something else tomorrow. Your ministry rises today, crashes tomorrow. Your finances is up today and is blown like the wind. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says every house is built by some man, but God is the builder. Therefore, I decree and declare that any pattern, any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the Christ, in the name that is above all names, I command a tearing down and a rebuilding now. 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 I announce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good, but because of the presence of these embargoes, there are dimensions you should have entered in Christ. There are levels of growth, levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace. And for whatever reason, certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I provoke restoration right now. 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 I pray over your life. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And the Bible says Elijah ran on bare foot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I want to speak speed in your life. I don't know what tied you down. By now, according to the program of God for you, you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore i command speed step into it right now in the name of jesus i command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Last prayer point I want to pray for you for there is an unction that can come on a man there is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth there is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing the yoke destroying there is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess it's an anointing there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate i want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like mara the water you will pick it and in the name of jesus you will change that situation like the listen 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 the bible says that the prophets were eating 
and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can veto the plans of darkness in the name of jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now soto sota leke to sketerika a breaker anointing the grace and the unction carry the fire carry the grace carry the unction command deliverance make environments cost free in the name of jesus may your presence your presence in your home your presence in your office your presence in your ministry sustain an ability to nullify ordinances nullify yokes and causes an enchantment surely they shall gather but because their gathering is not of god there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of god hello viewer we are happy to have you here with us on this video segment the word of god speaking in the book of psalms 107 verse 20 saying he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from all of their destructions the word of god has that potency and power to transform your life for the better it has a potency to turn your night to day to turn your morning into dancing many people receive the same word run with it and their life never remain the same we urge you to take this word seriously because your life is about to change apply all the principles all the counsels all the protocols that will be given to you through the voice of god's servants we love and celebrate you and we believe your life is about to receive a positive transformation please if this is the first time of visiting our channel we urge you to like subscribe and comment share this video to your loved ones and family we love you see you soon